Tonight, six players are about to play for a shot at one million dollars. Get ready for the most futuristic poker superstructure ever imagined, the Poker Dome. Competitors from around the world have flown to Las Vegas to face off against each other. Our first competitor comes from across the Canadian border. Keith Hubbard dreams of playing poker part-time and opening a heavy metal cafe. Speaking of music, this landscaper from Pennsylvania goes by the online name of Acoustic Licks. Chris Kaufman would love to go from air guitar to millionaire. The Poker Dome welcomes this strong arm of the law. A parole agent for the state of California, John Prelip just might bust his five competitors. Our most experienced player is a third generation poker player from North Dakota. Randy McKay is a professional player with $25,000 on his mind. Sydney, Australia is home for this fight, who is a youth worker for disadvantaged kids. Tim Jeffries, a strong believer in both poker skill and lady luck. And our final player is a land surveyor and father of two from Wisconsin. Terry McNulty is looking to make this, his very first visit to Vegas, a winning one. The players have arrived. Tonight, $25,000 is up for grabs. And one player behind this door will advance towards our tournament grand prize, $1 million. This is the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. Unmistakable Las Vegas, Nevada, where we're coming to you from the historic downtown district at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, the home of the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. The Poker Dome is set and open for business. The contestants are wearing heart monitors and the proper measures have been taken to ensure that the players will not be in contact with any of the audience. Now it's time to play speed poker at the Poker Dome where the studio audience can look in, but when it's time to play speed poker, the players cannot see out. And with that, let's uh, show you the seat assignments. McDulty in seat one, Jeffrey seat two, McKay's in seat three, Prelip seat four, Keith Hubbard seat five, and Chris Kaufman anchor in seat number six. And with that, we're ready to play a little speed poker here in the Poker Dome. I'm Barry Tompkins, joined by poker professional Michael Grotz, third member of our team, Nafisa DeFlorius. Tim Jeffries will be the first player to act. Remember, the players get 15 seconds to act. And there's that clock ticking down right over your screen. You'll see it a lot, and it will come into play. We got some hands out there on the uh, first right. hand of battle tonight. Yes, we do. Okay, with a pair of queens. Prelip a little pair and throws it away. This early in a tournament, I, I like to see flops yeah. with those little pairs. I feel like you have to I feel like you have enough chips to see a flop and then really get paid off if your opponent overplays his hand. Blinds are a thousand at a thousand, and McKay is uh, just going to win this one by Party. default. So those uh, those queens kind of go begging. Well, that was interesting that he just took it down and he didn't get called by, by the pair of fours there. Thank you for coming. Obviously, uh, Mr. Prelip playing a little tight this evening. Well, early on, and, and we've seen it go both ways. We've, we have seen players be aggressive early on. All Conversely, right. we've seen players be conservative early on. Prelip will play the King Jack. So what Nulti does with an ace call. eight. Calls. Sorry. So three players to the flop. There's a pair of tens for Jeffrey, and Jeffrey has caught two pair. Wow. 4,000. Well, McNulty's betting out here, which makes sense. He has middle pair with top kicker. Wants to find out where he's at. So a little competition early on here. Oh. Prelip gets out of the way wisely. Call. Well, he got raised here by Jeffrey. Being... As early as it is in the tournament, no real draws out there. I'd be inclined to just let that ace eight go, live to fight another day. 
See the heart monitors up on the left there. We'll be showing you those all night. Not spectacular right now. Very small, enticing bet here for McNulty. See, he, I feel like he knows that he's beat, but the bet is so small, it's enticing him to call. And he does call. And four will not help him. Now McNulty checks to Jeffrey. Oh, I think it's imperative for Jeffrey to bet here, and he does. If McNulty had a seven, I believe he would have bet out. Yeah, McNulty wisely folds, but maybe it would have been a little bit wiser to do it prior to the turn. Well, for those of you who are new to speed poker, here's how the game works. There are six players, two dealers, and just 15 seconds to act. Each player is dealt two down cards and must decide whether to call, raise up to the pot limit, or fold within 15 seconds. Two or more players remain in the hand. The community cards are dealt. The first three cards are called the flop. Then they're followed by a round of betting, where all players can then go all in. Next comes the fourth card, called the turn. More betting. And finally, the fifth card, called the river. Remaining players can bet one more time, then show their hands. In all cases, the best five card hand wins and takes the pot. Each player can use one 30 second time extension button per match prior to heads up. Each player has one time extension in heads up play. That is speed poker. And to be sure, it is a different game. As we said, there's a lot for the players to think about here. The audience, we mentioned, they can see in, but the players, of course, cannot see out. Audience also has monitors. They see the same thing that you're seeing at home. They know the players' cards. They can see the heart monitors on the players. I'm a with a clean 10. It'll be interesting to see how he re responds to losing 17,000 chips that early in the tournament. It's very important to keep your composure in a tournament because you can't rebuy. Three players to the flop. A jack of four, a pair of jacks now. At three. Jeffrey gonna jump into the fray here. Let's see if that scares anybody off. And I'm really a big fan of this bet here. By betting 3,000 chips into the pot, it's a strong bet, pot size bet that really is going to get everybody out of the hand that doesn't have a made hand or really very strong. So Jeffrey gets out of the box very quickly. He's at 71,000 chips, and we're just getting started. Don't go away.